Maybe I never know your name Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, like the video if you like it, and share it to friends if you might need it. So for the song, guitar is going to be standard tuning, and strings are going to be open strings, so you don't need a capo. First thing I'm going to start with is going to be the first. The first thing I'm going to play is going to be the G sharp minus 7, but that's going to be 6 string, 4th fret, 5th string, 6th fret, 4th string, 4th fret, 3rd string, 4th fret, 2nd string, 4th fret, 1st string, 4th fret. I'm gonna put a six string, third and second string together. Play one more time. Then go down to a F sharp thirteen. So that's gonna be six string, second fret, fourth string, second fret, third string, third fret, and second string, fourth fret. Play the same three strings, so six, third, and second. One more time. Then go all the way up to a A major seven. But that's gonna be six string, fifth fret, fourth string, sixth fret, third string, sixth fret, second string, fourth fret. Same three chords. One more time. And then go to an E major seven. But that's gonna be fifth string, seventh fret, fourth string, ninth fret, third string, eighth fret, second string, ninth fret. Then plot the fifth and third string together. Then repeat the whole thing all over again one more time. So, repeat the whole note again one more time. So, we'll play a G sharp major 7, then F sharp 13, and then A major 7. But this time, instead of going to an E major, e major you go to a to F sharp 7. So, that's going to be 5th string, 9th fret, 4th string, 11th fret, 3rd string, 9th fret, 7th string, 11th fret. Play the 5th, 3rd, 2nd string together. And then go on to the chorus. So, the chorus is going to start with a C power chord on the fifth on the fifth fret so fifth string fourth fret and fourth string sixth fret plug those two together mm, 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 f13 mm, 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 mm. then go to a d sharp minus seven that's gonna be fifth string sixth fret fourth string eighth fret third string sixth fret second string seventh fret fifth third and seventh string together mm, 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 mm. E major 7, 5th and 7th string. Repeat the whole thing over again. F sharp 13. Then E minor 9. But that's gonna be 5th string, 7th fret, 4th string, 5th fret, 3rd string, 7th fret, 2nd string, 7th fret. So 5th and 7th string together. Or you could strum that. And then 2nd string, 5th fret. 1st string, 5th fret, and then 2nd string, 8th fret, and then go to A, 13, that's going to be 6th string, 6th fret, 4th string, 5th fret, 3rd string, 6th fret, 2nd string, 7th fret, 6th string, 7th string together. Then go on to the next verse. So for the next verse, you're going to play the same way you play the second verse in which you end the First on uh, F sharp seven, then go to the chorus. Chorus gonna play the same way you play the previous chorus. Then there's this like turnaround part. So for the turnaround part, she play the C G sharp major seven. Then but the exact same thing with that one fret, so to now a G minor seven. And then F sharp thirteen. And then F sharp seven. But this time the F sharp seven is gonna be a C string, so to play that one's gonna be. 6th string, 2nd fret, 5th string, 4th fret, 4th string, 2nd fret, 3rd string, 3rd fret, 2nd string, 2nd fret, 1st string, 2nd fret, then strum down. And then you go to the inner loop part. The inner loop part is going to be played the same way you play the chorus, so the C power chord one. But also for this one, you could bar the entire 4th fret from the 6th string, from the 5th string down. So 5th string, 4th fret, 4th string, 4th fret, 3rd string, 4th fret, 3rd string, 4th fret, so on. But put mm -hmm. your but put your finger on the fourth string sixth fret. Put the fifth and second string together. That sounds a lot more closer to what the song plays. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then F sharp seven, the one on the sixth string, sixth and second string together. 
D minus seven. Then E major seven. Hold it over again. Then chorus. That's where that song ends. So that's how the whole song sounds like all together. If this video helped, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to more videos like this, share as a friend if you might need it, leave a comment down below on what to realize you next, and I'll see you next time.